I stay ten. Um, I had the appointment with the guy from the advocacy service. Um, I had a complete meltdown when I found that the copies of the pit preview form weren't with the rest of the stuff. Complete meltdown. Um, although he was helpful and everything, um, it, I have to say it still isn't giving me much hope for not being railroaded uh, by an unscrupulous assessor and knowing my luck I will get an unscrupulous assessor regardless that someone has commented that they know assessors and they're you know sort of wonderful people who are there to help and a lot of them are probably um, but um, my track record of having people who will screw me over is pretty much 100% so I'm going to get someone who's going to screw me over I have no doubt of, about that so I'm worried and people who actually know me in real life if they see this would actually say that I'm the sort of person who tries to keep it together um, despite these videos you know in, in part yeah the way I act in these these videos are where I've become tearful I don't do that in public usually I try not to. I try to be very uh, stiff up a lip. Um, but I was, you know, due to the meltdown anyway, I was tearful and everything. So, bang go my credentials of being a, a, a big butch guy in my area. Um, uh, he see uh, the the advocate seems to think that I've got a pretty good case to keep the the pit, but I don't know. Like I say, I'm used to being screwed over, so I'm going to be worried about that. Um, what has really affected me is I was trying to find the pit review form photocopies and my cat was meowing wanted my attention and I shouted at her and that's how worried I am I couldn't find it and I was so worried that I couldn't find it that I was start, started shouting at my cat and as much as I hate to admit it, that's how sometimes that happens. That, that sometimes my condition affects me in such a way that something like that caused me to shout at my wife. Not at her. I wasn't directing anger at her. Except in the times when it was you know, when she really was making me angry, but it was, i become so worried and angry, and sometimes I just lash out because there's no way of keeping it in without it destroying a bit more of me. And that's how this process is affecting me. I shouted at my cat and she doesn't deserve that and now I'm I'm just stroking her and hoping that she'll forgive me. Quite frankly, 
I'm so cold anyway because I can't have the heating on and I'm in pain uh, because my my neck problem has just been getting steadily worse since Saturday. I I just want to go to bed. So as soon as I've uploaded this, that's where you're going to find me. Um, a quick message. Um, those who have sent me an email or commented on my video or sent me a, a message on Facebook, I'm sorry I haven't got back to you. I do try and reply to everything, but at the moment, you really don't want to be getting into a conversation with me because especially if you've got a mental health problem because I'm just going to bring you right down so I will get back to you when I'm feeling better <laughs> so like I said I'm just going to piss off the bed because I just I just can't take it and I'd rather be in bed trying to get some sleep or at least be warm because I've got a lot to, to process at the moment and I need to do that on my own so uh I'm going to snuggle up with my cat in bed and hopefully she'll forgive me for shouting at her and uh, well, as I said yesterday hopefully uh, I won't wake up in the morning but if I do at least I might be slightly better rested than I am at the moment see you tomorrow possibly <laughs>